Dan Lawrence's second Championship 100 of the season gave Essex the upper hand after day two against Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire picked up on 218 for 8, seeking some runs from their lower order, which has consistently impressed with the bat this season, and that proved to be the case again here. Norwell and Miles extended their ninth wicket partnership to 51 of more than four runs and over. Miles passed his 50 as the resistance continued, whilst Norwell struck a maximum. Porter ended the fun for Gloucestershire with wickets in successive overs, Miles bowled for 58 and Norwell caught by Brown for 31, Gloucestershire 255 all out. In reply Essex started well as opener Brown struck three early boundaries. Gloucestershire had a breakthrough when Brown was caught by Dent off Payne for 14. At the other end, Mickleborough was finding his feet, although number three Wesley dominated the scoring in the stand between the pair, who put on 39 for the second wicket, with most of those runs coming in boundaries. Shaw struck twice for Gloucestershire as lunch approached, trapping Wesley leg before for 24 and claiming Bapara for a golden duck, Shaw with the catch. Mickleborough and Lawrence were the new combination, but were separated not long after the interval. Opener Mickleborough caught Taylor, bowled Shaw for 34. Lawrence and his skipper Tender Scarter combined nicely, putting on 102 for the fifth wicket and scoring at a good rate. Lawrence passed 50 as he and Tender Scarter continued to lead the Essex recovery in the afternoon. Tender Scarter reached his 50, but shortly afterwards fell, a fourth wicket for Shaw, the Dutch all round and leg before for 52. Lawrence and Zaidi continued the good work though. Lawrence and Zaidi had put on 39 together when Zaidi became Norwell's first wicket of the innings, Miles with the catch. New batsman Foster found his feet quickly, but was content to play second fiddle to Lawrence, who was dominating the scoring between the pair. Lawrence reached his second championship ton of the season. Gloucestershire finally saw the back of Lawrence when he was caught by Miles off Noema Barnett for 127, the stand with Foster worth 83. Napier could only make a two ball duck though, caught by Van Buren off Noema Barnett. With partners running out, Foster went on the offensive, hitting two maximums. Foster eventually fell for a valuable 47 from just 52 balls, caught by Marshall off Miles, and with no further runs added, Quinn was bowled for a 12 ball duck. Porter left unbeaten on zero, and Essex 333 all out at stumps, a first innings lead of 78 over Gloucestershire, who will begin their second innings on day three, seeking to wipe out that deficit.